Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to go over the basic fundamental information that you need to know regarding the Kilt project. If you guys don't already know, Kilt is a project which has been developed within the Polkadot ecosystem. The Kilt project was one of the first free projects to successfully secure a parachain slot on the Rococo testnet within the Polkadot ecosystem. With Kusama parachain auctions coming up very shortly, we can expect that Kilt should be one of the first projects to secure a parachain slot on Kusama and very likely on the DOT blockchain also. A quick summary of Kilt taken from their white paper before we dive into an example use case. Kilt is a simple protocol for creating, claiming, issuing, presenting and verifying digital credentials. In contrast to peer-to-peer -peer solutions for this, Kilt features self-sovereign data as well as revocable credentials using blockchain technology. Kilt was built to be a business enabler, not only for the software industry, but also for any entity which has or wishes to establish a business model based on trust. So that was a bit of a mouthful. In order to help you better understand why people or companies might be interested in using the Kilt protocol, we will go through an example together on screen. First, before we proceed, we need to make sure that we are all on the same page regarding some of the nomenclature we will be using. A claim can be likened to be requesting to be inspected by another entity. To a test, means to verify or confirm something. And an attested claim can be likened to having a certificate proving that you meet some kind of criteria. In this example, there are three different entities, a certifying authority, which may be linked to a government. An example of this would be the UKAS certification authority, an inspection agency, which as we know is an entity that will inspect other entities and verify that they are meeting a certain criteria. And finally, a company or individual. For most people, the interaction between the company and the inspection agency looks like this. The company requests attestation for their claim and then the inspection agency verifies that claim and provides an attested claim. However, how can the company be sure that the inspection agency actually has the authority to be able to issue the attested claim? And moreover, what about the company's customers? How can they be sure? Well, in reality, what actually happens is that the inspection agency, before they can be approached by their customers, must request attestation for their claim from the certifying authority. And then the certifying authority would verify their claim and provide their own attested claim to the inspection agency. So the chain of trust looks like this. From one through to four, the chain of trust must be maintained. So the certifying authority is an intrinsically trusted or verified identity. The inspection agency has an attested claim from that trusted entity that it can actually provide the inspection services. And the company now has an attested claim from the inspector that it has met the inspection criteria and it can show that attested claim to its customers. All of this exists on the Kilt blockchain or parachain in the Polkadot ecosystem. It is completely transparent and tamper proof. It allows companies or individuals to be certain that the claims provided by another entity, be that a person or a company, are legitimate and are not fraudulent or fake. Fake certificates are a major problem across global supply chains and Kilt is working to fix that problem. Kilt could be used for other types of verification also, such as identity verification, like your driving license, proof of ownership of land, or other things such as proof that your certificate from your university is valid, 
and that way your employer can be certain that you have a valid degree from your university. And that's it for this video guys. If you liked this type of explainer video, then please consider subscribing to our channel. We intend to do a deep dive video where we actually utilize the Kilt decentralized application and show you guys the step-by-step -step process from the point of view of each of the entities from our example and how they would interact with each other. So we hope to see you there soon and thanks for watching.